My name is Amir Bentatu. I'm the owner of RS Future. We're a shop that builds aerodynamic components and does race preparation. Uh, and this is our demo NSX. It is built to the Global Time Attack street class rules. And we're here at Super Lap Battle Circuit of the Americas, running it, hoping to get a good result. So the car is powered by a K20Z1 out of an RSX. It is a pretty basic engine build. We have forged rods and pistons. We run Drag Cartel 2.2 cams. And other than that, the engine's pretty much stock. Stock blocks, stock sleeves. Uh, we are currently between turbos. We're switching to a Garrett G3770 shortly, right after this event. Uh, Power-wise, it makes about 424 at the wheels. With that Garrett turbo, we're hoping to bump it up to closer to 600. Uh, in terms of how we got everything to work together, we run innovative mounts. The fabrication was all done by Riley at RS Motorsport. We put together a custom turbo manifold, custom water to air intercooler, custom piping. Uh, for the intake manifold, we're running a Prackworks carbon fiber intake manifold. And injectors are Injector Dynamics ID1700Xs. And other than that, you know, it's a pretty basic setup. Everything on the car other than the fabricated components are all off the shelf. So the magic with this car is definitely in the handling and a big component of that is the suspension. Uh, we've got it really well dialed in with a set of off-the-shelf KW Club Sport coilovers, which is a big shock to most people. They think the car has uh, pretty trick custom dampers. Uh, we have basically changed the spring rates. We run an 18K in the front, 11K in the rear, which is a pretty big departure from the factory rates that the Club Sports came with, but it's a stock valving and uh, even with that valving, it has excellent control of the coilovers. We're about eight, nine K higher than what they came with, which is kind of surprising. We are switching to KW competition dampers uh, a little bit later in the season to get those nice fancy dampers. We've kind of maxed out the club sports, but they've been really good to us. The car handles incredibly well. It absorbs bumps very well. Um, and realistically, the only reason that we are switching is just to get them a little bit lighter. From there on the Braking, we have StopTech, uh, a StopTech trophy kit, front and rear. It's an ST40 caliper with the same size rotors, front and rear. The valving or the piston sizes on the calipers are all designed for the NSX custom. And then around that, we have a set of Ray's ZE40 wheels wrapped with Yokohama AO52 tires, which are our tire of choice. They are the spec tire for Super Lap Battle and for Global Time Attack. However, we run them pretty much constantly. We don't run anything else. So the car runs an RS Future aerodynamic package that we make. The car has a three-dimensional front splitter, which is basically a carbon fiber splitter with tunnels integrated into it. This is an off-the-shelf splitter that you can get for pretty much any car. We have added our 3D end plates, which are also something that you can get for pretty much any car. And we have our S-flaps or spats in front of the tire. And then what you can't see is there's a carbon fiber duct that completely seals off the radiator and then uh, ducts all the air into the radiator and not on the car now because we didn't have time to finish it. There's also a carbon fiber vent that goes out of the hood. From there on the back of the car, we run an RS Future LM wing. It is a 67 inch standard, uh, kind of what we would sell to just about anyone, unless they need had a very highly specific application. I wanted to use off the shelf parts rather than something really crazy and one off to show what the components can do. So this is an aero package that we run on multiple cars. There's a, a couple cars here that have that aero package at Super Lap Battle. Uh, last year at GTA Finals, we had about six, seven cars. A few of them broke class records. So it's proven to be a very efficient and effective aero package for Time Attack. We will be making some updates and upgrades to the rest of the car. This is a very basic package. I just wanted to use kind of like the fundamentals to get the car working really well. And we can see in the high speed sections that it does work well, but now we want to more maximize and make it a little bit more efficient, really, really get the most out of the package. So I helped run a BMW and Porsche shop for about 10 years in Los Angeles called Office Auto Sport. Amazing place. I loved everyone there like family. But uh, in order to compete in Time Attack at the level I wanted to and do as many events as I wanted to, I would basically be gone for 30, 40 days out of the year. So I had to do something a little bit different. And what led me to making aerodynamic components was when I was building to the class for Street Class and Global Time Attack, uh, there were a couple of components that I wanted that I couldn't really get uh, easily. They would all have to be long build custom parts 
or I would make it myself. So I made it myself and one thing led to another and a couple of friends saw it and more people saw it and started asking for the parts to the point where I decided it was what I wanted to do long term. So uh, obviously, like I mentioned before, we do quite a bit of aerodynamic components. We do a lot of suspension tuning. Uh, I do a lot of trackside data acquisition and support for drivers and a lot of coaching. So while RS Future is kind of known more so for the aerodynamics, we do quite a bit in terms of like full builds, trackside support and uh, data. All right, so Super Lap Battle is our season opener for Time Attack this year. We're hoping to do Road Atlanta, Button Willow again in April, I believe it is, with Global Time Attack, and The Ridge with Global Time Attack as well. We may try to fit in some events with, uh, if we can, in the rest of the season. And the only other organization that we, that we will be running with full-time will be VTech Club USA in California. So VTech Club and Global Time Attack is our focus for the year. And uh, with this car, we're going to make a few upgrades and changes to it. Obviously, like I mentioned before, the turbocharger, we're going to switch to a Garrett G3770. We're going to modify the aerodynamics. We're going to switch to a KW competition uh, coilover setup. We're going to change the engine management. Right now, it's pretty fundamental and basic. We're running a Hondata K-Pro V4, which has gotten the job done. However, we need a little bit more uh, feature-wise, and we're going to run an Mtron ECU. So with all of those changes, the car is going to be pretty different. We're hoping to cut a significant amount of weight, increase a significant amount of horsepower, get a lot more downforce, and hopefully go even faster as the year progresses. You can find me on social media under RS Future Amir, uh, RS Future underscore Amir, A-M-I-R, or under the company Instagram, which is RS Future. I also have a YouTube channel if you'd like to keep up with everything that we're doing throughout the year. And the YouTube channel is just RS Future. And if you need to reach out, hit me up uh, for aerodynamic components or anything else, you can find us at rsfuture.com. Perfect. <laughs>